Right, we're back, Data Analytics Ireland, with a new video. I uh, wanted to have a look through um, data frames again, but in particular how to hide columns. So you're going to be faced with scenarios where you either have columns that are calculated or your import columns in the file you want to hide. So we're going to take you through a couple of different scenarios here of how to do it and show you some of the output. So, first things first, create a file, a very simple file um, called Region, Africa, North America, and Europe, obviously. And we've done then obviously created three columns cost, price, margin, sales price. So the whole idea is 100 plus this gives you that. Sorry, that's a percentage. That times that gives you that, and that times that gives you that. So we're going to be importing this file into our Python program. And the whole idea was going to do a bit of manipulating it and hiding columns and doing some calculated columns on this as well, which I'll show you now in a second. So that's our data going to be importing. Okay. So start off very simple. Um, this piece of code here literally just imports the data set I've just shown you and it displays it very straightforward. So we're going to move on now um, to basically select only the columns you want to show on the output. So there could be a scenario when you import, there's a couple of different ways of actually hiding the columns. So we don't want to actually just kind of go through this and say, well, maybe approach it one way or the other. I want to show you a couple of different scenarios. So the first way we're going to do it is we're actually going to read the file in. Okay, so this is your file read in statement um, then what we're going to do is say only show me the region on cost price so if we go back here we're only going to show the first two columns here okay so we're going to ignore these two okay so when I go down here there's your region and your cost but that's your actual output there so there's the first um, all the data imported, okay, and this it actually automatically creates the index. This is then showing the region and the cost price because we've only shown the region and the cost price. So something to note here as well is that when you only when you want to see more than one column, you have to enclose it in double brackets. The reason being is essentially this will actually create a list of these are the columns you want to actually return inside this bracket and then the columns on the outside actually just go and say tell it to search for the index of those and return those ones so that's what that's for so if this was only one column you would remove this bracket here and this bracket here and then remove one of these values here and it will return that column so that's the reason for two brackets here. If you, as I said, if you only had one, if only had one column to return, you would move the brackets on either side here, and then remove one of the, the column values you want to return, and then that's that would bring you back that in the display. So there's another way of approaching this, okay? Um, and it's literally by um, by saying using the value drop, the method drop. So. What I want to do here is again, we're just importing the file like we did previously above uh, up here. So, but instead of defining exactly what columns we want to do, we're just going to say, hey, will you go into the data frame and just basically drop this particular column? Okay, so again, we're defining this particular column. This access equals to one, what well, that's basically telling you it's a column. So if you don't put that in, it will not work function as you expect. So if this this was a piece of, if this was a different piece of code for say a a row, then you'd obviously put that to zero. But we're not looking at rows today. That's for a video for another day. So anyway, this this piece of code here, it basically it will drop the margin. So we are now on as so that we did one two. So we're on the third here. So again, when we look at this data, the original data, it's region, cost, margin, and sales price. But when we go back in here, we only, because we've asked it up here to drop the margin here, 
it's only returned region cost and sales price as you can see see it there okay so that's that one so there may be a scenario where you want to bring in your data but you actually might want to do some calculations on that data and then basically create other columns which are calculated columns but you might want to show those calculated columns so i've created just a scenario here i'll talk you through it so again obviously reading in reading in a file as data frame 4 so what we've done here is basically said we're going to create a new column called break even price so remember that's not anywhere here okay and we're basically going to say that it's the the cost price here okay times 100 okay so we go back up here when we do that output we should see well actually because we're going to hide it we won't see it so if i just before i do anything i just do this and this and we run again so what we have here is on those two things we've we have so 100 here okay 100 here times 1.05 we have 225 times 1.05 and 300 times 1.05 so that gives you a break-even price so say you're in a scenario where you don't you don't want be you want to do that calculation but you don't want to, if you're outputting it to a screen or to a report or to send it on somewhere else electronically through some some other methodology but you don't want to send on the break-even price due to the sensitivity of it what you do you would drop it so in that scenario i've written this code here um, so maybe before we go back and rerun this we basically just show you what the price drop is so the next piece we've done is we've basically calculated well saying what's our cost price and what's our break-even price okay um what we're basically saying here is we're basically trying to calculate how much we can drop by before we start losing money okay so that's what the price drop is okay so when we go through this then the final bit we want to do is we want to say um we want to say bring us back everything minus the break-even price less the break-even price okay okay so when we run this now we should get region cost price and drop price so let me just do this now again just show you okay so essentially what i've done here is as i've shown i've created a break even new column called break even price calculated what the break even price is then i've created a new column called price drop and saying what can we drop by this theoretic theoretical of course what could we drop by by taking the cost price and removing the break even price calculated here what's the maximum we can drop by in this so it's a bit like scenario planning we can what's the maximum we can drop by before we start losing money and that's what the, the price drop is so down here it's basically saying we can drop by five on this 11.25 on this and 15 on this now you'll notice there's no break-even price in this and there's no there is a cost price there's no margin and again if say if for example you were sending this on somewhere or you were exporting it to excel or you were sending to another data frame or giving that data to somebody else if you didn't want them to see that particular set of data as in the break-even price or the margin here that's what you would do so we've done in this scenario then we've basically said okay just give us the region the cost price oh, sorry excuse me and the price drop so the final thing we want to do is sometimes you have as you can see in the output here python in the data frame it creates the the index value zero one two here automatic so as we've been going along and through this demonstration we've basically the output has all had zero one two zero one two zero one two but what if you don't actually want to see that what we can do is we can basically do a thing called is basically set the index to be the region so i'll explain this right there's two things going on here we're telling that now that the index is region and to reset the data frame to basically update the data frame and ignore the index 
so what's basically happened here is all along we've had 0 1 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 but now we're because we're saying that the region is now the index value it's it's basically dropping these this particular this column here even though there's not a name it's dropping these index values of 0 1 2 and saying the actual index values are now are Europe Africa and North America so all that's that's all that's all that's doing so that is a brief overview of how to open up a file obviously bring in your file how to read it different ways to basically hide columns we've also created columns calculated columns but how to hide them as well and then also how how to hide the index of the data frame if that's what you so desire so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, appreciate some likes and shares uh, we're on social media so if you're on the website here data data analytics e you can there's a number of youtube or rss feed twitter facebook appreciate um, a like and sharing of those obviously there's comments available for this video i'll be posting this video in here into this list of a data frame list so it will go in here and like any other previous um, videos you can comment as well leave your name and email everything is confidential um, and certainly i'll um, come back to you with comments if you just want to contact me privately you could come this way as well and put your name and details in here and we'll get back to you privately okay thank you bye